<laughs> he, he's my neighbor at the beach. He's, they're going to have him taken away with Paul. Oh, uh, yeah. He runs up and down the beach with a big flag going, Have you seen me on Dallas? He's a real... He's completely out of control. Yeah, the that's man's peculiar. Out. Anyway, uh, you know... You know you don't seem like a you don't seem like a beach kind of guy. You go you live at the beach, do you? What is a beach kind of guy like? Like like Will, our uh, guitar player. He he's our bass well, player. You, he you seems like a beach kind of guy. No, but I'm a beach kind of guy. No, See? but you're a beach kind of guy. You, you, where do you go to the beach out here? Rockaway, Jones it's Beach, been about where? Fifteen years. Huh? It's been about fifteen years. This is not an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Just asked him a question, and the kid did twenty minutes. See how he got started. <laughs> I, uh, well, uh, I, I, I go to uh, Malibu. We have a home out in Malibu. Uh -huh. And the beach to me is getting in a big couch, laying there with a little vodka martini and going, more. Oh. <laughs> uh, and the wife's answer to that is, you're a crude person and I'm not going to put up with it, and refuses to leave me. Yeah. Uh, because she's coming into a ton of money when I take the big cab. Oh, don't, now don't, don't talk like that. Well, I kid about that. Yeah. Death, we must face it. You know, we, mu we must face it. I, I know when my time comes, I know I'll get a big turnout. I figure me for about 40 cars. <laughs> I figure you for one wagon and the black kid. <laughs> Well, at least I'll have you on Black Kids. Yeah. Um, we got to, uh, we got to, what are we doing? Station identification. We'll be right back. Don Rickles will be here. It's seven on three. Be there. Thank you, folks. Welcome back to the program. Don Rickles is here. Tomorrow night on this show, will uh, Ed McMahon, as uh, Mr. Rickles mentioned, will be here. Also, Annie Leibovitz, the photographer for Rolling Stone. And uh, later in the show, you're going to meet uh, Amy Wallace, and also we're going to take a look at my neighborhood. Don, you're in the, the New York area out at the uh, Westbury Music Fair. Yeah, we'll be there starting uh, Wednesday night till Sunday with a, with a friend. I don't know if you've ever had her on a show, but she's a delightful lady, Debbie Reynolds. No, she's never a, been here. She's a wonderful lady. We, uh, we go back a long time because I... I, I, my film career is not that extensive. I mean, you never saw me at the Academy Awards going, let's hear it for me. Uh, but I uh, did a picture with her many years ago called Rat Race. Uh, and Debbie was the star with Tony Curtis, and that was the big Paramount days when uh, Debbie was the, uh, the wonderful uh, starlet of that studio. And it was, a, it was a big treat because, as you know, as comedians, it's very difficult for all of us to get parts away from your image, you know. Sure. Uh, so uh, I, I played this part, and uh, it was a heavy, and it was something that I run on cassettes for my family just to prove to myself I did that, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, the parts they offer me now is to be Rodney Dangerfield's valet. <laughs> so uh, I uh, haven't had an opportunity as yet. Now, you mentioned movies. We have a couple of the other ones here that you made. Man with the X-ray eyes? Oh, that was a big winner. That was with Ray Milland, who walked around blind for two hours <laughs> trying to find out where the circus was. It's, all, it's, it's the best way I can describe it. And... Uh, it, uh, it, 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 but working with Ray was a treat. That what, was, what part did you play in that? I played the guy, again, I was a heavy in those mm -hmm. days, and I was heavy. I was about 203 pounds. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was single and just running around telling girls I was a whale. <laughs> uh, but it seemed to work. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, the money jungle? What was that? The money jungle I didn't do. That you did in your house with brown socks. <laughs> uh, you oh, remember yeah. you? No, that's right. That's yeah. right. You had the mask. Remember, and yeah. I was the director. It was about yeah. six of us. Anyway, uh, it was a hell of a night. That's I never right. forgot that it. That no. was uh, when, when I had the mobile home. That's they did right. it out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Muscle Beach Party. No, a beach blanket, bingo, Muscle Beach. Right. That that yeah, I did. Yeah, two with, different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they also were big hits. We did those in 15 days with the Frankie Avalon, Annette Funicello, who's now uh, selling uh, peanut butter. <laughs> and uh, I don't put that as a put down, uh, Annette. She's a wonderful girl. Yeah, I, I certainly like a nice lady. Yeah, she really is. She was the one that believed Italy would win the war. <laughs> uh, and our, uh, Frankie Avalon and Keenan Wynn and Buddy Hackett and myself, we did. It was a lot of fun in those days. Yeah. If, you, if you didn't know the dialogue, nobody cared. Now here, Don, I, I don't know if you've even seen these. We have two comic books, uh, <laughs> Superman's Pal, the new Jimmy Olsen. And uh, can you take a look oh, at uh, our friend on the cover here? <laughs> I never that? saw you, that one. You know that what? one I saw. That one I saw. This one's another Jimmy Olsen comic book with, yeah. uh, once again, featuring Don Rickles. <laughs> My daughter uses that as her chemistry book. <laughs> How is your daughter? She's great. She's working in the neighborhood now. She's a... Uh, 
It's my daughter. You don't know her. No, she's... she's <laughs> some, some Polish guy in the back thinks this is a clinic. Anyway, uh... You'll come up later in bowl. Anyway, uh... I now don't write letters if you're Polish. That's a joke. I love all of you dearly, really. I I, I I'd be lost without the Polish people. Uh, I want to say uh, that my daughter wants to be an actress. Yeah. And she's studying hard, and she goes to high school in Los Angeles, and she works very hard at it. And she's like her mother. She says, "Dan, I can't understand it." That's the way her mother uh -huh. talks. I I married a Valium. David, that's what you have to marry. Especially when you're an actor. Don't marry anybody in this business. I please, I beg you. I, it, it, because we're so competitive. It's so nice. I got a wife gets up in the morning and goes, listen, you go to the studio and do your thing. <laughs> Poor people, idiots, I'm gonna buy jewelry. Uh, And that, and that, and that's the way her daughter is, uh, and my daughter too. She's, and she says, "Dad, I'm going with mom, and we're going to shop." My son, he's not into that. He just wants baseball and the Dodgers and the now, sword. How old is your, your daughter, Don? My daughter's 17. Now, has she uh, come to the age yet where she might bring a date home to meet you? Well, she brought a guy home the other night. You know, he was, he was great. He had a grenade and a rifle and a. No, my my daughter hasn't really reached that point. I think that's going to shake me up because. I know she's going to bring home a stiff. I just feel it. I really do. It's not going to be a hip, hip, hooray when she brings home the guy. It's going to be some guy going, hey, what do you say, pop? <laughs> hey, what do you say, old man? Hey. Uh, and I'm going to have a lot of problems. But uh, No, you won't. It'll be fine. She's a good kid. You keep your fingers crossed with youngsters. Yeah. Today, it's, there's so many problems out there. And television, every time you turn on, we have cable, as you have it here in the, in the East, and every time, uh, you know, in the middle of the night, you know, there's yeah. my daughter sitting in the living room, and my son was only 13, and you, you hear Richard Gere going, <laughs> and I said, somebody got cramps in the house? What's that? And it's Richard Gere taking a shot at a monkey or something. I don't know. Don is, uh, uh, will be at the, uh, the Westbury Music Fair, when does it begin? September 28th? Well, it begins whenever you want it to September begin. September 28th. No, it begins Wednesday night. We'll be there this Sunday with Debbie Reynolds and... Uh, have, a, have a good time out there. Thank And David, can I tell you, really, I, I'm really a fan and I, I wish you a lot of luck. There's a lot of guys out there with shows, you know, and c competition is, is tough. But you, you've come through like a champ and I'm, I wish you the best. Really. Thanks. It's very nice of you to say. Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Don. Uh, we'll be right back to take a look at the neighborhood.